Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a perfume collection and declutter. I've never done a perfume declutter before, so I'm really excited to go through all my fragrances and declutter them and donate them to friends and family. There's only a couple that I'm going to have to throw out because I have been holding on to a couple just for the bottle and the memory's sake, but I'm not taking those with me when I move because I will be moving soon. So I really wanted to do some declutter videos for you. I'm actually going to do my entire makeup collection in one video. So I want to get through these pretty fast because I do want this to be ready for when I move. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about each individual fragrance in this video. It's strictly going to be showing you guys what I have and whether I want to keep it or not. I do have about 60 fragrances, I think I counted. I'm gonna have to count it again to make sure how many I have. I do have so many because recently I have been getting sent a lot of fragrance from fragrance.com, so a bunch of these are new. Fragrance.com has over 17,000 fragrances. They've been around since 1997. They sell authentic fragrance, and you can always find a discount on that website. For my subscribers, they're giving me a 30% off code that expires on March 31st, which happens to be my birthday. <laughs> Fun fact, they have a ton of selection to choose from. I will be linking all my fragrances in my collection that you can get from fragrance.com first, and then I'll be putting all my other ones second, just so that easy searching if you are going to use fragrance.com in the coupon code. It's not affiliate, not a sponsored video. Just simply wanted to tell you guys about this site because you do save money on it and they have a ton to choose from. I know in previous fragrance videos that I've done, I've had a couple questions about the testers that they sell and those are authentic as well. They're not used fragrance, just sometimes companies send a different package or no cap for the tester just because it's going to be used in store. So that's what a tester is on their website. So it's nothing that's used, it's still authentic, and it just saves you a little bit more money. I have had testers sent to me and none of them have missed a cap. It's just the box is a lot plainer, so that's the only difference. And you save even more money because you're gonna toss the box anyway, so. It's always nice to check out the testers. With all that being said, I'm going to hop right into my collection. I'm going to actually start off with two new fragrances that I received from fragrance.com and they're from Jo Malone. You guys know I'm on a Jo Malone kick. And all the fragrances that I'm going to be taking with me moving are going to be over here and then I'm going to put all the ones that I'm gonna be donating on this side. We're gonna have a little tally going so we can see how many we're gonna get rid of. There's a train going right now. I can't wait to move. Do you hear that? The train. The two newest fragrances to my collection from Jo Malone, as I said, I have Red Roses and I have Orange Blossom. And you guys know I love the smell of roses. And if you love the smell of fresh, freshly cut roses, this is for you. It smells exactly like a fresh bouquet of roses. A lot of my fragrances that say it has rose in it, it doesn't smell as fresh of a floral as this. It's not overpowering though, it's like a light, fresh floral, if you know what I mean, for roses. So I really like that one. And then this one also smells like fresh cut flowers as well, it's orange blossom. And I really like light floral scents. I don't like heavy, sickening floral scents. So these two are like fresh cut flowers. Definitely recommend them. They're new to my collection, as I said, so I'm going to be keeping them. The other two Jo Malone fragrances I have are Mimosa and Cardamom, which is my absolute favorite Jo Malone fragrance. And then I also have Peony and Blush Suede. Peony and Blush Suede I describe as the perfect wedding scent if you're looking for something light and floral and romantic. I recommend that one. And if you wanna smell my favorite ever Jo Malone fragrance, you gotta smell this one. It smells so good. It reminds me of vacation and it smells expensive. This one lasts the longest on me. So it's the one I highly, highly recommend is the Mimosa and Cardamom. So I'm keeping these two. They're made for mixing, so they're really fantastic to have. You can mix in with any other fragrances, wear them alone. They're just really versatile and I love the scents. I have two fragrances from Marc Jacobs. They have really ornate caps on them. This is something I would get a tester on because honestly I don't like the big cap. And I'm actually going to be donating these two scents. This has dust on it. I'm obviously not using it. I like the scent, but I just feel like someone else is going to like Marc Jacobs dot more. So I'm going to be passing this on before it goes bad. And then I also actually really like this scent. I think it's perfect for spring. It's the Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh. I purchased this because my sister-in-law loved this scent. So I think I'm going to give this to her in hopes that she needs more of it. <laughs> 
because I do really love the scent. I just, as you see, I have so many fragrances. I just feel like someone else would really enjoy these. So I'm going to donate them. A couple of my more new scents that I just got, so I will be keeping these, and I absolutely love. These were in a recent favorites for me. This is the new Chloe Nomad. I have nothing like this. It smells so great, like a free spirit. As I mentioned in my favorites, I think this would be something you would wear to Coachella. It just smells like a festival fragrance to me, but very sophisticated. So I'm going to keep this. And then the next fragrance I have been absolutely loving is the Lancome La Vie et Belle, the Le Clot one. So this is the newer one. It has this texture on it. I really wanted to try the original. That's the one that you guys recommend, but Lancome sent this one over to me and I've just been loving it ever since. And if you like my next fragrance that I'm gonna show you guys, you would love this one because I know a lot of you have purchased this guy right here, but this one's obviously staying with me. A lot of you purchased this one because of my recommendation and it's the YSL Yves Saint Laurent Montpetri. This is my favorite fragrance of all time currently. It's very sweet. This is very long lasting. It's quite strong and it just smells really girly. This is by far my favorite scent right now. I'm gonna put it on because I have nothing on right now. And I know a lot of you have purchased this based off my recommendation. So definitely give this a smell if you're curious as to my favorite scent of all time. It's YSL Montpetri. Highly, highly recommend. This guy's not going anywhere. In terms of fragrance companies, Gucci and YSL can do no wrong to me. I love their fragrances. I have three fragrances here from Gucci, all of which are staying with me because I absolutely love them. This is the most recent to my collection. It's the Gucci Flora. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is my ideal packaging. I love the color of the liquid. I love the packaging of this. This is a floral scent as you guys will become aware. I love florals and it's very strong, long lasting, not a sickening, strong floral. There is some sweetness to this as well and it's just a beautiful scent. I really like this one. And then I have Gucci Guilty, which I love to wear at night. I've used quite a bit of this fragrance and this is a very sexy scent to me. So this is kind of like a nighttime scent. A daytime, everyday, non-offensive, I'd recommend this to anyone scent is the Gucci Bamboo and I love wearing this during the day. My dad actually got this for me and I think he has like the best taste in fragrance for females. It's so, so good. So I would recommend this to anybody. It's very good for daytime. One of my favorite fragrances of all time is from Givenchy and I'm going to save that for later. If you guys can guess what it is before you even see that, let me know down below. Probably the scent I've talked about the longest on my channel. I've worn that for years. However, these two Givenchy scents I'm going to donate. My mom gave me this one because it was starting to give her a headache. She's very sensitive to fragrance. It's the very irresistible, but I'm going to further pass it on just because it's not for me. And then I have the Givenchy Play, which I used to really, really like, but I do feel like someone else is going to like this more. It's very strong, very long wearing. I just want to pass on some fragrances. So I'm going to pass this guy on just because I don't reach for it that often and I think someone else is going to really like it. I pretty recently hauled all these fragrances, so I'm gonna go through them quickly because I'm going to keep them all because they are new to my collection, so I'm not ready to pass them up yet. We have the Givenchy Dahlia Divine, which isn't the Givenchy I was talking about. It's another one, but I really like this one. If you like YSL Montpetit and the Lancôme La Vie et Belle et Le Clot, you'll definitely like this one as well. It's along the same family as that. Keeping that. Then the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I love this. This was perfect for winter and nighttime for me. This is new to my collection as well. I love the bottle and I'm definitely not giving this up. This is my favorite Carolina Herrera and I'm actually going to donate one from her because I love this one so much. It's going to pass on my other one, which you will see. Then I just recently got the Escada Ocean Lounge, which was a recommendation from Stephanie from Babs Beauty. And this smells like summertime to me. I'm going to for sure keep it. And then we have Jimmy Choo Blossom, which I couldn't find on Sephora. They happen to have this on fragrance.com and I've been wanting it forever. So this is staying with me. It's gonna be perfect for spring. And then this one was perfect for Valentine's Day. It smells like roses. It's the Dolce Dolce & Gabbana Rosa Excelsia. And I used a ton of this and I only recently got it because I was spraying it so much around Valentine's Day. 
So 100% keeping this one. I'm going to donate the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I only sprayed this a couple times. It's a little too strong for my liking and I just feel like someone else is going to love this more. I received it in PR, but I honestly haven't been touching it since. Then I used to love this fragrance. It's from Ralph Lauren. It's the Big Pony number two. And this is a very sweet scent. I typically don't wear scents like this anymore. I know a lot of people would really like this, but this was more of a younger scent for me. So I'm going to pass this guy along as well, even though I loved it at the time. And this may come as a shock to some of you guys. This is the Giorgio Armani C. And I like this, but I don't think I like it enough to keep it. I just, I know so many people love this and I just feel like someone else is going to love it a little bit more than me. So I'm going to pass this on. Yes, I do like it. I just don't reach for it enough and someone is going to really enjoy this. Two of my most used springtime fragrances would have to be Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. I love this scent so much. I will always, always, always repurchase this. And then I also love the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. These are my perfect springtime daytime scents. I reach for these so much. So both of those are staying. I love the bottles of them. They look so good together. I keep these two in my room. I have a ton in my beauty room, but these two, they stay with me year round. These two fragrances surprised me so much and they're from Ariana Grande. I don't remember exactly the names of them, but they were the first two launches. I do think she has another one. And initially I picked this up to just be a display for my daughter's room because her name's Ariana and it has that engraved in it and I just thought they were so cute. And cheese too, she doesn't need fragrance, so they were obviously just a display. And I grew to love the scents of them, so I've been using them and I'm just going to give her the bottles after to go in her room. But I would repurchase these, that's how much I love them and use them. These would have to be my favorite celebrity fragrance. <laughs> of all the celebrities who have released fragrances, Ariana Grande's are my personal favorite. I really, really like these. Pretty sure those are the only celebrity fragrances I'm actually keeping. And now I have all my celebrity fragrances that I'm going to be donating. Why don't I like celebrity fragrance? <laughs> I actually like a lot of these, but they're just not my favorite. The first one that I actually love the smell of, I hate the packaging. It's the Gwen Stefani Lamb. This one's so old. I've been holding on to it for sentimental reasons, but the liquid has gone bad. This has always leaked on me. I hate the packaging on this, even though the scent's so fantastic. This one I have to toss. Another fragrance that I'm going to get rid of is the Paris Hilton Paris Hilton scent. Looks like this. I love this when I was younger and I was just holding on to it for the bottle, but this is not good anymore. So we're going to toss that guy. I really like this scent and it's great for mixing. I just feel like someone else is going to like it more, which is a common theme with a lot of the ones that I will be donating. I'm just trying to cut back. This is the Jessica Simpson Fancy Love. I do like it as I said, but someone's gonna like it more. And I like the Lady Gaga Fame as well, but someone else is just going to get better use out of it. It's still good, smells really good. I also really like the Katy Perry fragrance at the time, but for whatever reason lately, Katy Perry, I don't know, she gives me bad vibes <laughs> lately. Well, she just had something on American Idol that didn't sit well with me either, so. Sorry, Per. You're going. I really like this fragrance. It's the original Kim Kardashian one. It's a little tiny bottle, still smells awesome. Like, I really like this. Do I keep it? Okay, if I'm debating it, it's going to be donated because honestly, I do really like this fragrance. Just someone's gonna like it more. Another fragrance I love, this just reminds me of my best friend. I bought it because she always wore it, but every time I'd wear it on me, I just felt like it didn't belong to me because it was just her scent. And it's the Hilary Duff with Love. This is such a romantic scent. It's very long wearing, very strong. It's such a good celebrity fragrance. Honestly, one of the best in my opinion, but it never felt like me. It just felt like her. It's like I was stealing her scent and I didn't like that. So I'm gonna give this to her and <laughs> see if she still wears it. So we're doing okay, I think, okay. This Gucci one was hiding. It's the Gucci Eau de Parfum 2. I couldn't find this fragrance for the longest time, but fragrance.com I believe has this. Lid is so heavy. This is another one I wouldn't care to have the lid on it, but I'm keeping this one. It has black currant in it, which is my favorite scent ever. For sure keeping this, Gucci. Gucci does no wrong, as I said. And then I have two fragrances from MAC. 
Obviously you can only get these from Mac. I have the Candy Yum Yum, which is my favorite of the two. This was my first ever PR from Mac. I'm gonna forever keep this. And then I have Creme de Nude, which is really nice for winter. It's a really cozy scent, keeping that for sure. Now I have three fragrances from Victor and Rolf, and I'm keeping all three of them. I love Bonbon. I just don't reach for it enough. Honestly, it kind of got lost back there, so I'm gonna keep this at the front. Then I have the Spice Bomb. This is a unisex fragrance, and I love wearing this at nighttime. I love wearing men's colognes. I use my husband's all the time, so I kind of keep this with his colognes, but I do use my husband's colognes from time to time because I love how they smell on me, especially for nighttime. And I think I can pull it off, so I'm keeping it. I really like it. He uses it too, but I think it smells better on me. Then I have the Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf, and I don't use this all the time. Honestly, just a light spray of this, and I can smell this from morning till night. It literally locks on. This is the most long-wearing fragrance I own. This is forever on my skin. Until I shower, this is locked on. I can smell it. So I'm keeping this just for that. This was my university signature scent. It was Vera Wang Lovestruck. I have two of them because I keep one in my purse, minus the huge lid on it. But I'm going to actually pass on both. I was just going to keep the smaller one, but since I used it so much during that time period, I just feel like I'm past it now. But I still love the scent. It takes me back, but I feel someone else will really like this, hopefully, because I loved it so much. You better love it. And then the Carolina Herrera one that I'm passing on is the 212 Sexy. And I love this scent, but I love the good girl more. So I just feel like someone else would really like this or two people. <laughs> you have two sides to it so maybe two people can share this we'll see two of my longtime favorites i'm sure if you guys were trying to guess which one it was that a lot of you guessed hot couture by givenchy this is the eau de toilette and i do believe there is a difference i like the eau de toilette more and this was my signature scent for so long nothing smells like this I can smell this on anyone who wears it it's so unique and beautiful if you have never smelt that please go and smell it. It is so amazing and unique. And then I also love Versace Bright Crystal. I reach for this one all the time too. So you can kind of see the ones that I've had for a while that I've used a lot. I really like this one. I will always repurchase it. Also has one of those huge lids to it, which I don't care for, but I still love this. This is the perfect date time scent for me. Next we have three Juicy Couture scents, two of which I will be donating, which are these two. I don't even know the names of them. One is just Juicy Couture and I think one's Couture Couture, maybe, if I can remember correctly. I think I got these at Winners or something. I was trying to look for a scent, but I had never smelt these prior. I thought they were something else, I guess but I honestly never reach for these, so these are going to be donated. The Juicy Couture fragrance I am keeping is the Viva La Juicy Noir, and this was a gift from my husband. I love the scent of this one so much, though this is staying. These ones are fairly new to my collection as well, so they're all staying. <laughs> this is the Versace Eros Perfume, and this smells like a boss to me. I love it. This is a daytime meeting fragrance. I know <laughs> that sounds crazy, but don't drop. If you wanna smell like a boss, I feel like this you should get. I'm also going to keep the Terry Muggler Alien. Nothing smells like this as well. This is very unique. I love the bottle. I love the fragrance of this, super unique. And then the YSL Black Opium is like a edible fragrance, I'd say. This is great for nighttime, anytime, really. I like it. And then this is also another one. I keep a smaller one of this in my purse. It's a great Anytime fragrance I find as well is the Stella McCartney Stella. One of my favorite fragrances. The next five fragrances I'm all donating. So the first is the Siren Seduced. This smelled really peppery. I don't use this ever now. I bought it a while ago, so that's going. This is another old one, but it still smells good. It's the Adidas Moves. I don't typically wear these fresh, clean scents like this. I'm not sure why. I love how it smells, but just not on me. So that one's going. And then I have this Avon B Romantic that is fairly new. This smells like Ralph, Ralph Lauren that, I think it's a blue bottle. I used to wear that in high school. That's why I kept this, because I don't have that currently. But I'm going to pass this on. I just don't reach for it. I saved it because it smelled so much like that, but it's gonna pass on. And then I have this Vince Camuto one, and I'm not sure exactly what one this is. I know he has a bunch, 
It's the one that looks like this though. And I purchased this off recommendation and it's just too strong for me. <laughs> it's just way too strong. I can't handle such potent fragrances like this. That's why I hardly ever use my Victor and Ralph Flower Balm. It's very strong for me. So this one I am passing and then a Ralph Lauren one, hot. You know, this actually smells pretty good. I've had it for so long and I don't reach for it. It's still good, so I may as well pass it on. The next one I love is the Escada Cherry in the Air. That's my favorite Escada. If you're gonna only try one, try this one, please. It's so good. I don't even think it smells like cherry. It just smells like fruity goodness. That's my perfect after the shower scent. It's super light, but fresh and fruity. And then I have Fresh Couture by Moschino. And I purchased this because of the bottle. It looks like Windex just chilling in my makeup collection. <laughs> and I wish it would spray through that, but it's actually just the top. And this is a very fresh scent. And as I said, I don't wear fresh scents that often, but I am going to keep this one just so I have one in my collection. I need to use it more though. And then I have the YSL Manifesto. This one I honestly don't reach for that often because it's a very powdery scent. I feel like you'd either like this or you don't. And I believe they have the Elixir one, which I love even more. And I would recommend that one over this <laughs> if you're going to pick. But I don't have anything like this, so I am going to keep it. Another one I love is the Chloe one. This scent is just perfect for where I am in life right now. I just feel like this smells like what my life should smell like right now. I know that's weird, but it does. The last one I have is such a gorgeous scent. I use this very sparingly though, because it's very strong as well. I do like it, but I just need a little bit. It's the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, and I do love this, but a little goes a very, very long way. This stays in my room. I love the packaging of it. I love Chanel fragrances, but as I said, that one is quite strong for me. So I just counted, I have 61 fragrances, wow. I'm keeping 37 fragrances and I will be donating 24. I think I did a pretty good job at cutting back my collection. As you can see, I still kept way more than I'm donating, but a lot of them are new from fragrance.com, as I said, so I do wanna test them out a little bit more before I decide whether I wanna pass them on or keep them for myself. But I hope you guys enjoyed my perfume collection and declutter, maybe found some new fragrances that you wanna check out. Be sure to use my code if you wanna save some money until March 31st, my birthday. <laughs> and please let me know what your favorite fragrance is down below in the comments and what you think I might like based on my collection. I'd love to know your thoughts. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.